Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. In this ongoing real-time scenario based videos, in this video, I'm going to give you one of the real-time scenario is how to handle double delimiter or you can say multi delimiter. How to handle double delimiter files or you can say multi delimiter files data. So here I have prepared some data set. Let's look at this. So why, why we will go with the double delimiters? So whenever you are working on uh, mainly on ETL uh, projects on traditional data warehousing projects, and those sources will be ERP systems. So ERP system majorly they will be having a address field, some other information. Consider if you are using a comma as a delimiter, then you can get address field comma as a data. Consider if you are using a pipe as a delimiter, even maybe some other information like uh, maybe other payment information or you can say address information. So any other information which you can get a pipe as one of the data inside data. So in those scenarios, what will happen? It will treat as separate record instead of treating as single record. So normally we will go with quoted data double quote or single quote okay so instead of that some projects what we will do we will go with a more than one delimiter more than um, we will call it as double delimiter double delimiter means instead of single pipe we'll go with double pipe so this is very simple this kind of data which you can handle just say in the separator that's all okay what i'll do i'll create one data file let's look at this i'm going to create one notebook how to handle double i double delimiter or multi delimiter in PySpark. Okay, let's create a sample data file. So db details dot fs dot but i'm going to create a data file uh, which is just scenarios in this folder uh, multi or you can say double pipe dot csv okay this is the data file if data file is already available just i will overwrite let's create this and in this data file normally when you go with the creating data frame in PySpark, what we will do spark dot read dot csv we will use read api then header show let's show you this display data when you go with the displaying data we see it's treating a single column because default delimiter is a comma and we need to specify delimiter pipe but here it is not a single pipe double double pipe so that's why it is treating as another pipe it is treating like one pipe in between another pipe it is treating as null record you see this so in this between these two pipes it is treating as null record even it is treating a creating a separate column for that you see this so what we need to do in separator we need to use double pipe now you see this. Now it's created perfectly. This is very simple and easy to handle double delimiters. And when it comes to multi delimiter, multi delimiter means even some requirements, even some requirements, we may have we may get a different kinds of data like this. Consider here comma is a delimiter, and in another column, again there is a pipe is delimiter. Pipe is delimiter. This is one of the scenario which you can expect uh, majorly some concatenated data majorly concatenated data like when you are uh, source team is they are extracting from reporting team or against reporting uh, team extracting data from any reporting tool so you may get this kind of data let's create data frame and understand this data as well okay let's create a file first db fs and put create a file 
scenarios then multi separator dot csv okay and the file is all already available just to overwrite this file let's understand this data so actually first three columns comma is separator even fourth column also comma is separator but all marks are given in a single okay all marks are given in a single field but different delimiter you see this let's create data frame and understand this how it will treat whenever you whenever we create a data frame just spark dot read dot csv and specify header true then display this data so what will happen whenever you go with the multi delimiter so first the three columns and even total four columns it's created separate and you can see individually first three columns data is fine but fourth column if you look at this it is having data all data it is it is available in single column it is available in single column so how to create separate fields from this again how to create separate fields from this so consider first subject one subject two subject three subject two like this four subjects are there so they are giving data in a concatenated field like this so now here delimiter is five so what we can do we can use the functions so what we can do we can use functions let's show you that we can create a new column using with column and then marks split just i'm going to use a split function and uh, this column whatever marks column was there so split function input argument is consider i will show you the example select so split function will be having two arguments your data consider one five two five three five four four values are there then you can use the delimiter here second argument is delimiter but when you go with the, these kind of things split what will happen uh, it will treat each character each character as a separate string and will give you list python list okay split when it comes to total data set level it will behave different split at column data this column data it will behave different mean it is treating this separate string this separate string and whatever i'm giving a delimiter it is not considering okay so in this scenario what we can do we can give this pipe in square brackets you can get pipe in square brackets now perfectly it is splitted and created python list or you can use backward slash backslash and pipe symbol but single backward slash it is not a doing that so we have to go with a double now you see this so double backward slash or square square brackets so this way which we need to give a delimiter whenever you go with the split function on individual column data okay remember this now what i'll do i'll use a split function then delimiter in double quotes i'll give the delimiter Okay, then display. So we need to import these two functions because we are we are writing in PySpark from PySpark dot SQL dot functions import split function all functions. Now, so it is splitted and created a Python list, and if you want to create a separate columns, what we can do? We can go with the after this we can go with using a with column we can add like subject one so subject one and after splitting so this column will be having a indexes because it is python list so slicing we can do index zero is subject one just
So when you are writing a Python code in multiple lines user backward slash, and then subject two, subject three, subject four, and index one, index two, index three. So what will happen? It will split data from that. It will split this is the column and uh, let's we need to use that column because it, it is a column so it cannot understand that uh, directly okay so when it comes to individual column wise just i am going to take the data subject 1 35 subject 2 45 subject 3 55 subject 4 65 records so now it is splitted and create separate columns now it is splitted and created separate columns because whenever you use a split splits returns python list array array which you can go with the slicing. Slicing is nothing but index 0, index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3. Similarly, I did the same thing. So whenever you use a split function with a particular delimiter, it will return a Python list. So that list when you are looking for the values, individual values, slicing, index 0, first value, index 1, index 2, index 3. So this way which we created separate columns. So now you can delete this column if you're not looking for this column. What you can do, you can delete those two columns. So now, so marks column divided and stored separate and now this data looks perfect. Subject one, subject two, subject three, subject four. So this way which we can go with handling multi delimiter, double delimiter multi delimiter double delimiter and the same notebook will be available in my github i will upload this notebook in my github you can go through my github uh, one of the repository called uh, ravi underscore azure adb adf folder there you can find one subfolder called azure real time scenarios so here you can find my notebooks whatever i'm going to cover in the scenarios all these notebooks will be available in my github if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and let's see in another video. Thank you for watching my videos. Have a good day. See you.